back in 2014, a British company, Surrey Nanosystems, called Vantablack. Its purpose was to be used for the military, was absorb a lot of light, and so it was considered the blackest black. It stands for Vertically Aligned Nanotube Array Black. 99.965% of light ever given. That's my theory anyway. But I did get this, uh, this black 3.0. Now, don't get me wrong, we are not a gun channel. Um, so our plan for today is to paint this 1911. Not entirely sure. I think we will figure that out as we go. Let's get after it. Black and like a little green. Little green. Do not eat it. everything painted, we got everything cleaned up, we got pretty messy. Uh, I think that took a little longer than I anticipated, and we did not disassemble the lower, which <laughs> I'm really happy for. I did not want to disassemble the lower. We decided not to. More like a normal firearm where you don't have to use a paper clip. It's weird. Goodness! Everything should be like a Glock. But it works. It's a functioning firearm. It will, uh, it will do what it needs to do. It's got an interesting finish on it now. And so this idea was born from this other firearm that we painted in just spray paint green. I believe it was this can right here. And it works fine. I'll fix it in edit. It's actually not half bad. It's not. All right, guys. So there we have it. We took the 1911 apart. We painted it black 3.0. That was the objective. So my impressions, I'm not super impressed. Like spray paint would have been better. Uh, but the idea was inspired by the AR, which we painted in just green spray paint like a couple years ago. And it's fine. It works great. Like you can spray paint your stuff. It's fine. The way it absorbs light, you know, who cares? Uh, it's fine. But we did the project, turned out pretty cool. Um, we have a lot of great ideas, and I'd like to close by dedicating this video to our friend, my close friend Steve. I hope you enjoyed it. Anything you want to see us do, leave us a comment, and we'll, uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.